with, uh, well, of course, in the name of my ancestors and, uh, man, still having problems with this software. I don't know why that thing keeps doing that. Talking about I don't have any audio. Anyway, in the name of my ancestors, I am Angel Snub Number 7. I am your soul brother number one. <clears throat> this is, of course, the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Mm. Well, I want to talk about very briefly, and I want to answer a question. The question that many folks raise is if Minister Louis Farrakhan is not an agent, why has he been allowed to live so long? Something to that effect. Because many of our freedom fighters, of course, you know, they... Uh, uh, passed this life very early. Malcolm X being 39, Dr. King was 39 years old. Then you had uh, Fred Hampton and Mark Clark and so many of our freedom fighters, they died young. But then you have somebody like Louis Farrakhan and we have Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton. But we're talking about Mr. Farrakhan in this case. Why has the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan been allowed to live for so long? I don't know. I cannot say. From this rostrum, I try to deal with facts to the best of my ability. I, I don't know. But I will tell you this about the FOI. Not only the FOI. The FOI is the military wing of the Nation of Islam of which I still am, I was proud to be wear that bow tie. I don't regret none of my time being in the fruit of Islam. Very wonderful experience. I did that rather than go to the cracker army. Some of y'all went to the cracker military. I went to a military that, uh, was in the community that stood with the oppressed, not go out and fight and be paid by the oppressor to murder and become and become uh, uh, become an oppressor. You know, victimize people. So let's answer this question real quick. I will tell you this. Now, I, I don't, I cannot speak for the fruit of Islam right now. I cannot speak. I don't know what's happening at all, period. But I will speak from the time I was there in the, in the very beginning when Minister Farrakhan stood up to rebuild the nation of Islam, the early 80s. And I can speak about the fruit of Islam from the past because I was around many of the brothers who did soldier probably even uh, before Malcolm X joined. They, many of these brothers and sisters were still around when I was in the nation in the early 80s. So there's a mentality and there's a mindset and I want to talk to us about that. Elijah Muhammad lived a pretty long time into his 80s, correct? Minister Farrakhan is, is in his 80s right now. Now, see, what we don't understand is that you can assassinate Dr. King and you can assassinate all the people you want, but as far as the fruit of Islam is concerned, you kill ours. See, there's a mentality that goes with the fruit of Islam. You kill ours. Somebody going to have to die. That's just the bottom line. And since the United States government, CIA, FBI, whoever, they had agents 
in the nation of Islam, they knew the mentality and they knew if they assassinated Elijah Muhammad, there's going to be some serious problem because that fruit of Islam is not going to tolerate that you kill their leader. You're not going to hurt, you're not going to harm Minister Farrakhan and don't think somebody is not going to avenge his death. The fruit of Islam is not going to, it's not going to happen. So you better think about, before you think about hurting these men, our leader, you better think again. See, that's the difference. Dr. King did not have a fruit of Islam. Marcus Garvey did not have a fruit of Islam. Because, because things would be different if there was a fruit of Islam or some type of military that surrounded these men. The fruit of Islam is not going to do that. The fruit of Islam is taught by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. We are not robots. So we're not just carrying out orders. We can question the orders of our superior. Supposed to. You know how that works. Because <laughs> I know me, myself, I was I was uh, under insubordination countless times. <clears throat> but I was good. So nobody really tripped off when I was insubordinate because I was good. I did. The, I was sincere and I was doing the work. So my little insubordination don't mean nothing compared to the work that I was doing in behalf of the nation of Islam. Leadership must look good. Elijah Muhammad must look good because Elijah Muhammad, Minister Farrakhan, represents the nation and you don't want your, and the nation, they represent you. So you want your leadership to look good. So Minister Farrakhan is supposed to ride in limousines and have a pretty house. As far as the nation of Islam is concerned, in that mindset, the leadership must look good because he represents the people, the nation. You don't want your leader looking raggedy, do you? Many of us don't. The president of the United States don't look raggedy or the leader of any of these nations. They look as, they put them out as fancy looking as possible because they represent that nation. So that's the mentality behind that. Going back in the past, see the fruit of Islam, again, Back in the past, remember, many of the brothers came off the streets. And just because they put on a bow tie does not mean that criminal type of mentality. What they say, you can take uh, you can take the brother out the streets, but you can't take the, you know, the street out the brother. It, a lot of them still carry that mentality. And they would whoop your ass. They would kill you. They still had that mentality. And Malcolm didn't make it no better. Under the Nation of Islam uh, restrictive laws, when you break one of the restrictive laws, you simply are supposed to be uh, banished from among the, the, uh, the, the believers for uh, a certain amount of time and be done. But, but being a fruit, a lot is expected of a fruit. And Malcolm said, I'm probably a dead man already. Because Malcolm knew that he knew how the FOI was being trained. They sort of didn't abide to that restrictive law. Especially in the cases if a brother beat up his wife. If you beat up your wife, then you're going to get your ass whipped. It's simple as that. A certain amount of fruit, brothers, FOI, are going to come to your house. So you want to beat women up, right? So we're going to whip your ass. Simple as that. Malcolm knew what was going on. I mean, he, Malcolm must have gained, he must have given the A-OK. -okay. He said that he trained them. So he knew what the deal was. 
And when you're dealing with the fruit of Islam, you're, dealing, you're not dealing with the average type of Negro. Because the fruit of Islam is trained and you are taught to fear no God but Allah. That's why Muslims, you see them, they can put on these so-called Muslim terrorists. They can put on a, a, a vest full of dynamite, explosive, and go somewhere and just blow themselves up. Because if you really believe, you can do that. You have no fear, but Allah. I have no fear of this. I sacrifice my life in the name of Allah. So they say, before they blow themselves up, they say, Allah Akbar. God is the greatest. And this is what makes the fruit of Islam, this, this mentality, this mindset, is what really made the, the nation of Islam very dangerous in the eyes of the government. Because messing around with them, and they were steady growing. Messing around with them, you could mess around and actually have a for real civil war going on. Well, you said, it's not enough Muslims. This is another thing that the government knows. The government also knows that the nation of Islam has a secret army that don't wear a bow tie. They might eat pig feet. They cuss in their drink. But if you mess with Minister Farrakhan, if you mess with Elijah Muhammad, you got some problems. Dr. King did not have that. Jesse Jackson don't have that. Al Sharpton don't have that. Mr. Farrakhan has that. In a recent speech not too long ago, I heard Mr. Farrakhan say, I'm going to paraphrase, it's not a direct quote, but I heard Mr. Farrakhan say, if I wanted to, I could, you know, I could get some of y'all hurt for real. He's paraphrasing. But basically, he knows this. He don't have to give a direct order. He don't have to go on the roster and say, I want so-and-so hurt. I want so-and-so killed. He don't have to say that. Just make a suggestion. He knows it. Unfortunately, during the, the history of the nation of Islam, the suggestion was other dark-skinned people. Never Caucasian folks or other enemies of the struggle. It's always dark-skinned people. But this is not to say it could not happen. And the Caucasian uh, government, this pink government, understands that the nation of Islam, this mentality, and they don't want this type of mentality. You, you're not going to find that mentality among the co comedic folks. You, you're not going to see that. You're not going to see it among the Hebrew Israelites. As bad as they are on the street, you're not going to see that. This fruit of Islam is very, very dangerous. Right now, in my opinion, they are very docile. And I don't think they, they're they not inspired like back in the day. Because many of the brothers who are FYI now, they didn't come from the streets. They didn't come from the streets. They lived a, you, you live a pampered life. But the brothers, the, the, the original fruit of Islam, Many of them come from the streets. They had nothing. They, they felt hopeless. Islam gave them hope. And you're not going to mess what gave me life. So you, you, you try to kill Elijah. You, you try to mess with Farrakhan if you want. And even though the, the new fruit of Islam, to me, is not as... Uh, uh, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? But... All that might change if you hurt that man. It's a mindset. So to answer your question, Minister Farrakhan is here because the government better help make sure nothing happened to that man because <laughs> you got some problems on your hand. Not only in the fruit of Islam, 
But there are supporters, there are men out there who don't wear a tie that you don't know nothing about. And that's it, y'all. That, 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 that's all, folks. Y'all got any comments? <laughs>